Home equity has been a hot topic in real estate news lately. Quick bait material. And if you've been following along, you may have heard there's a growing number of homeowners with negative equity. But don't let those headlines scare you. <laughs> that would be scary. In truth, the headlines don't give you all the information you really need to understand what's happening and at what scale. I'm Keith with the Walker team. Let's break down one of the big equity stories you may be seeing in the news and what's actually taking place. One piece of news circulating focuses on the percentage of homes purchased in 2022 that are currently underwater. The term underwater refers to a scenario where the homeowner owes more on the loan than the house is worth. This was a huge issue when the housing market crashed in 2008, but it's much less significant today. Media coverage right now is based loosely on a report from Black Knight Incorporated. The actual report from that source says this, of all homes purchased with a mortgage in 2022, 8% are now at least marginally underwater and nearly 40% have less than 10% equity stakes in their home. Let's unpack that for a moment and provide the bigger picture. The data bound report from Black Knight is talking specifically about homes purchased in 2022, but media headlines don't always mention that time frame or provide the surrounding context about how unusual of year 2022 was for the housing market. Homeowners who bought their house last year right at the peak, or those who paid more than market value in the months that followed, are more likely to fall into the category of being marginally underwater. Now the qualifier marginally is another key piece of the puzzle the media isn't necessarily including in their coverage. Go figure. So what does that mean for those who purchased a home in 2022? It's important to remember, owning a home is a long-term investment, not a short-term play. When headlines focus on the short-term view, they're not necessarily providing the full context. Typically speaking, the longer you stay in your home, the more equity you gain as you pay down your loan and as home prices appreciate. With recent market conditions, you may not have gained significant equity right away if you own the home for just a few months. But it's also true that many homeowners who recently bought their house are unlikely to be looking to sell quite yet, not to mention they probably love their interest rate that they locked in. The bottom line is as with everything, knowing the context is important. As always, I'm Keith with the Walker team of Ventura, here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate, and coming to you from Tahoe today. If you have any questions about real estate headlines or you want an update on the local market, let's connect. Talk to you soon and see you next week.